So thanks very much again, Simone, for doing this with us. Uh, I know a lot of people really appreciated the, uh, the exercise that you did on the last webinar and all the other helpful comments and uh, tips and techniques that you shared with us last time. So on this webinar, what we want to do is to focus a bit more on working with sounds in relation to plants in particular. And there are a couple of angles here that we can explore. And I know you're a real expert at this, so I'm really fascinated to hear what you've got to say. But I mean, one kind of main aspect, as I see it, is that plants themselves create sounds that, well, they, you could explain the technology, but that, you know, we can hear sounds, we can hear the music of plants, and that can be healing to us as, as humans. But, and also alongside that, we can create sounds that can be healing for plants. So we can dive into both of those things in a minute. But it might be good if you could just start off by talking a little bit about your story, about how you got into this, how you got into working with the music of plants. Yeah, it happened, um, I think, more than almost 10 years ago, I think. And um, I, you know, I always had um, a very deep connection with nature and, and a deep respect um, for nature. Um, but actually, before coming across the music of the plants, I wasn't such um, uh, so, so deeply interested in plants, yeah. like as a specific kind of interest. And then what happened, I, I came to know that there is this technology that allows plants to make music. And it is a device that you can connect to a plant. And um, it will measure the electrical variations of the tissue of the plant and translate these electrical signals into, um, uh, it's called MIDI, uh, which is... Um, it's a kind of signal for digital musical instruments, yep. and and then it can make it can be made into an audible sound, and I found that really very very fascinating. And at the beginning, I have to admit I was a little bit skeptical because I thought the idea is very intriguing and clever of translating electrical signals into sound. Sure. But um, my my first impression was that it was more like a random process, you know, you, yeah. you could do it with any kind of electrical signal, you know, and, <laughs> and just change the signal into something else and make yeah. it become sound. But then what happened, I was explained, um, so this technology was developed in Damanhur, which is a spiritual community in, in the north of Italy, and and mm -hmm. someone I, I know from there, she, she explained to me how, how it worked, and also she... Uh, she told me that they have been experimenting uh, with this technology for, I think now it must be like 40 years or something oh, like that. Long time, yeah, yeah. And in their experiments, they found out that uh, when a plant is um, is connected to one of these instruments for longer periods of time, and it's uh, if you let it play for for hours and days, and and you expose the plant to the sound that it's making mm. through this instrument things start changing, so the music start uh, evolving. Mm -hmm. And maybe at the beginning it's very simple and very repetitive, and I had this experience as well, but then over time it becomes more complex yeah. and articulated. Mm -hmm. So it really seems like there's a learning process. So the plan somehow at some point uh, is able to make a connection between this external acoustic feedback and whatever is happening inside the plant itself that, that generates these variations of electricity. Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah. Yeah, and, and I was totally fascinated. So I got one of these devices and I started experimenting. And to understand better this whole process, I started uh, doing a little bit of research mm -hmm. on the perception of plants and I did actually find out a lot of really interesting things. So plants can hear sounds, they perceive the vibration of sound, so they can actually hear sounds and they can perceive the, the external environment. They have a very clear awareness of what's happening around them. They react to the presence of people and to people's feelings and thoughts and emotions. So it's just incredible. absolutely... Plants yeah, are really incredible. evolved beings. <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. They are conscious and intelligent. Yeah, I mean that that they are intelligent. There's a there's no doubt because all the studies have um, you know have shown that 
the behavior of plants is very complex and and, and intelligent. Yeah. Whether there is also a component of what we would call consciousness or awareness that's obviously a bit more mm-hmm. delicate and 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 debatable. Mm-hmm. But I I do believe, and I think many of the people who are listening to us today yeah. also yeah. believe that as well intuitively, you know, because yeah. it, it does make sense. Mm-hmm. It does make mm-hmm. total sense. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So yeah, it's it's a completely um, it it's becoming more popular as um as um as a thing. This music of the plants also because there are more devices available and people are really getting into that. Yeah, uh, yeah. Just tell us a little bit about the devices that are available these days, if people want to get into. Yeah, well, it. yeah. As far as I know, uh, there are three main main available. This one is the original from Damanur. It's called the U1 device. And um, it, it's great because it has its own internal sound. So basically, once you have this device and you connect it to a plant, you can directly hear sounds. Whereas other devices like the MIDI Sprout or the more recent Plants Play from Italy, um, they need to be connected to um, something else that, that generates sounds, which in both cases can be just a smartphone because I think they both come with an app. That you can Great. just download. Great. Yeah. Wow, it's a real evolution there. Yeah. The yeah. Technology. So there's even a there's even a choice, yeah. and Great. and our listeners can download the PDF that I have prepared with the um, that I have prepared with the links to the sure. website. Sure. We'll just do that fun. now, and then it's available for people. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Thanks for that. Yeah. Yeah. It's really helpful. Yeah. And also, um, I've made available an article that I have written for the Nexus magazine. Yeah. And. Or people can also find a lot of information about um, studies yes. that have been made on the perception of plants, because obviously we don't have time now to go really in depth. Sure, I have that's done a great article, and that's yeah. available as a download as well. And also yeah. you've got some interesting references in there as well. If people want to dive in even more deeply at the end yeah. of the article, you've, uh, you've got yeah. the references and things as well, which is really great. Thank you. Thank you yeah. for sharing that. Yeah, that's really good. So you've had your own experiences. You had the the, the original device and uh, you've experimented and done a whole lot of work. And I know that you have your own YouTube channel and quite a few uh, videos on there uh, of you uh, working in, in, with with plants, with the device, yeah. and uh, which is called, the YouTube channel is Sound of Golden Light. Is that right? Yeah, People the Sound of to, Golden Light. Yeah, yeah, yeah fantastic. And uh, so... Your experience then is that, I, I mean, I've seen some of these videos and you've, we've talked about this before, but is that you can actually do things like play a duet with a plant. Yeah. 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 Which is quite an amazing yeah. idea, isn't it? So tell us a little it bit is. about that. If you think about it, it's just mind blowing <laughs> that you can <laughs> play music with, together with a plant and establish a connection and actually you're really actually having a duet. And um, it's it's something that um, it's always an, a little bit unpredictable and it's always a little bit different from you know, moment to moment and from one plant to another because um, pretty much like people, you know, you can have a completely different experience when you interact with one plant or, or with another. Yeah. But I have to say that some of these experiences I had uh, have been really, really incredible and you know when it's it's about listening mm-hmm. and because obviously you can't expect from a plant the kind of immediate reaction that you expect from a from a musician from a human musician yeah, so yeah. obviously the the way of improvising together is completely different yeah. it's really a lot about slowing down mm-hmm. and and listening which and, is actually and the allowing kind... a lot of space oh wow, fantastic which is actually the kind of skill that we need as a musician or as a singer or whatever to when we're doing sound healing is it's kind of slowing down and it's yeah, about absolutely. listening and being sensitive to the other being that's that in our yeah. presence so it's almost yeah. like it's a great great learning tool in a sense to help yeah. us develop those those capacities in a way so that's, yeah, a, that's and I interesting would say, yeah. Mm. I would say that that's a skill that we need really in general. Yeah. If we want to, if we want to heal our relationship with nature. Yeah. 
That's really important. We, we, we bring our noise to nature all the time, and it's not only the physical noise, it's also our, I mean, the noise that we create in the world originates in our minds, mm -hmm. and, and we bring that noise whenever we, we you know, we, we interact with nature mindlessly. Yeah, absolutely. And we can do that in quite obvious ways with making like a loud noise on a particular motorbike or something or but yeah. also it's just the way we can go crashing around. Even if we're out on a walk in nature, we can still exactly. go crashing around <laughs> and, yeah. and and kind of you know just be out on a walk talking with a friend and it's just like incessant chatter the whole time. Exactly. And not exactly. even being aware or listening to the sounds of nature or yeah. whatever, you know. So that's that sort of thing, isn't it? Yeah. Or it can yeah. be even in our minds, you know, yeah. we can go for a walk in nature yeah. and having this constant chatter, yeah. constant yeah. chatter in our mind, yeah. you know, blah, 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 yeah, thinking yeah. about things. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's noise. Yeah, that's also is. noise. Yeah. It's mental yeah. noise. It is. And, and that actually is, is kind of projected out into the field, you know, around us. And, and I guess yeah. you know, maybe the plants are picking that up as well. Okay, yeah. so fantastic. So let's just talk a little bit then about how uh, you, for example, as a sound healer, how um, you can then potentially and have done, you know, you can work in this kind of playing with plants to help other human beings. And, and I know that there's been this re some research done by Teresa Hel Helgeson, I think her name is, who's a certified medical therapist and has set up something called Plant Medicine Therapy. And there is a YouTube video on this, which we can give people the link to about, which you've kindly passed on, which is, um, demonstrates some research that she's done about the effect of the sounds of plants on human blood cells, for example, and on yeah. blood plasma, and, um, which is really fascinating. But you've had some experiences, I think, which you could tell us about, about how you've worked with the music of plants to, in groups of people, you know, so in essentially sound healing with groups of people. So, yeah, yeah, I have been including sometimes the music of the plants in some of my in musical journeys and and sound healing journeys. And I have to say that the response is always very very positive, and people always feel very touched. And what is very interesting is that sometimes I do explain what they are going to listen to. Mm -hmm. So I do a little introductions, uh, introduction about the music of the plants. And, and sometimes I just don't. So we start the musical journey as, as always, and it's just me with my instruments. And there is a plant beside me, but I don't say explicitly that the plant's going to be uh, yeah. playing part of the music. <laughs> yeah. And just also that just for me to test you know, yeah, because sure. obviously if you, if you have an audience and you tell the audience, okay, now you're going to listen to a plant making music, it's so special that mm -hmm. obviously they open themselves in a different way, you know, mm -hmm. it's, it's, mm -hmm. that's with more curiosity. Yeah, and yeah. If you don't say that and they just expect, let's say, normal music, uh, at, you also have a chance to, to really see if there's any special, uh, anything special happening and... I have to say that every time I've done that, uh, I've, I've, I have received the, the feedback that uh, people were really deeply touched by the music, even without knowing what was going on, you know, that the plant was involved. So there is something, there is something very, very touching, something that goes very deep about listening to this music of the plants somehow. Fantastic. Yeah, 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 fantastic. So why don't we just play a little bit of uh, some, some sounds of, of you playing a duet. I think it's with you and a, and a piano, is that right? Uh, we, could, yeah. we could do that one and uh, yeah. give, give people a sample right now of, of, of what it sounds like. Yeah, sure.
So, oh, well, thanks for that. I mean, I think that's fascinating that those sounds together and it really does show just how, just how amazing it can be. You know, I mean, these, sound, this, these plants are really incredible. Now, the other thing is that, uh, so we've talked about how we can work alongside the, the plants to play the music for, for the benefit of people, of human beings. And also I touched on it with the, the other mention of Teresa there about how we can even just have a plant playing the, the music or playing the sounds, the healing sounds, and that in itself can be really beneficial for humans. And actually, in a way, it's, it's not surprising this, because we plants, you know, we depend on plants. I mean, they, they create the oxygen that we breathe. You know, they, they give us the food nutrients that we need to live on, and they give us yeah. medicine in so many different ways. And so they're also, in a way, offering through their, the electrical impulses in their in their bodily structure of in the leaves and so on, they, they're able to give us these sounds that can also be healing. So, I mean, that's amazing. But also what we can talk about now is how we can then offer sounds back to plants for those that are struggling sometimes to help them heal as well. Now, <laughs> we've got a great case study here, haven't we? Because when you were originally studying quite a few years ago now about uh, working with tuning forks, you said to me, Hey, Tony, what about this idea? You mentioned the music of plants and so on. And you said, what about this idea if we do a case study on, on a plant? And I went, oh, OK, that could be really interesting. <laughs> so uh, so we, we, you did it. So tell us a bit about yeah. that. <laughs> yeah, I remember our conversation very well. We were both really excited about the yeah. idea. Yeah, <laughs> and we still are. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, just, just before we talk about this case study, I, I would like to um, um, remind our listeners that uh, they can download a recording of that duet that uh -huh. we have um, just listened to. Sure. So it's, it's one of the files that are available for download. Exactly, because we've just had a clip now and there's a much longer uh, yeah. version of that yeah, yeah. that people can download. Full yeah, thanks for saying that, yeah. Yeah, so the case study was really, really fascinating. I had these two... Um, uh, basically identical echine echinacea plants that I was working with to record the music. Mm -hmm. And somehow one of these two plants, even though they were in the, basically the same conditions, they were in the same spot, same temperature, same amount of water, and um, same size and age and everything, um, one of the two somehow wasn't, wasn't doing that very well. And um, so when I was in the process of doing all these case studies for my diploma, I, I decided to try it, to just try. Sure. sure. And, and as you know, the, the results were quite <laughs> It quite was amazing, impressive. wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. So we have a picture. We have got a picture of like the before and after, haven't we? A photograph yeah, that you yeah. took. So yeah. let's just show the photograph now of the before. You know, you've got the two plants side by side, and you can definitely see that one is big and strong and healthy, and the other isn't quite as much. So let's we'll just show that now. And then we'll, we'll show you again at the end after Simona has talked a bit more about what's happened and so on. We'll show you the, the after picture later on. Right, so that's it. So what did you do? Yeah, so I just decided to use tuning forks with um, in the same way I would do with a person and, and see what happens. And the interesting thing is that I have also used the music of the plant as a feedback. Yeah. Because what happens often when you, when you have a plant that is connected to the instrument and it's playing, um, what, what is interesting is that sometimes you can use that as a feedback, as an acoustic feedback of the plant's reactions to the environment. Mm -hmm. Just for, as an example, often when, when someone comes to visit me and we talk about it and then they're curious, so I set up the whole thing and the plants start playing and they oh wow, it's really great and they go close to the plant and they touch it, it often stops playing. Uh -huh. So the music of the plants is also a very interesting way of having a direct mm. feedback of when 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 something changes in the plant. Sure. So so what I, the way I did this case study, I would um, connect that plant, the plant that wasn't very healthy, 
for about maybe 20 minutes and just let it play music mm, by itself awesome. and listen. I would listen to the um, patterns, you know, and to the rhythm of the music just to get an idea of how it was going along yeah. by itself. Yeah. And then I would introduce the tuning fork. So I would tap the tuning forks and then slowly uh, get them close to the plant. And very often, I think the first two or three sessions, if I remember well, um, the plant uh, stopped playing immediately as soon as I went mm -hmm. close to the tuning with the tuning forks. And then after maybe a minute or two, would start playing, start playing again. And um, so that that gave me already a first impression that the sound, the vibration of the tuning fork was, you know, um, the plant was reacting to that. Yeah, in some it's way. having an effect in some way. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I did a whole um, cycle of I think it was five sessions, if I remember well, and. Um, yeah, and after one week or a little more than one week, the plant was showing signs of uh, recovery. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, and that's, that's when that's that, when you took the second picture. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So we'll just show that again so, now. And yeah. uh, here you can see the two plants. Uh, they're 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 actually both flowering now, and they're both the same sort of height. I mean, it's, you know, after one week or whatever it was, there's definitely a sign of improvement. I mean, it's not entirely 100% yeah. like the other one, is it? Yeah, but it's... yeah. I mean, that, that second plan never really got um, at the level of health of the other one, but it really, it was a lot better yeah. after the sound healing yeah. uh, yeah. cycle of the sessions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Fantastic. Amazing. So look, let's just, let's just have a listen from a, one of the recordings you did at the time there of uh, one of those sessions. So we've just, got a, we've just got a couple of minutes here for you to listen to uh, Simona here playing the, the tuning forks and then the, the response in sounds from, yeah. from the plant. Okay, so Simon, that was a recording from the first session that you did with the plant. So just, just talk yeah. us through a little bit about what happened there, just to remind us. 
Yeah, that was a short extract from the from the whole session, and you can hear as the as the sound um, began, you could hear the music that the plant was playing while I was doing nothing and just let it play. Sure. And then you can hear the first tuning fork that I tapped, and I went close um, to the plant. Two uh, two tuning forks. It was the C and G, so the perfect fifth. Yeah. And as I go. Um, as I put the tuning forks close to the plant, you can clearly hear that the music has stopped yeah. for a while, yeah. then it starts again, yeah. Yeah, yeah, fantastic, yeah. So it's definitely responding to what you're doing. And, yeah. uh, and then, you know, then we have the, the evidence that the, the effect of playing the tuning forks in this way really helped. So that's fantastic. That's fantastic. Yeah. So what would you say that, you know, because you know, you've talked now about the technology, about the effects it can have both for humans and, and on plants. So what would you say people need to do if they want to get going with this? What's the, what, you know, what's the next steps? With, you mean with the music of the plants? Yeah, yeah. You know, if they want to work with, with, with plants in this way, both for healing other people, perhaps, and then also working if they want to offer that back to some plants, maybe in their in their houses or in their gardens or whatever. I guess, you know, really it's about getting the technology, isn't it? And making a start yeah, there. And yeah, they can, they can check the three links that I have included in, in one of the PDFs. Yeah. And uh, yeah. uh, those are the three options currently available to uh, get this technology. Sure. Yeah, and, and I mean, I've, very, I've, very easy to use. It's quite yeah. easy to set it up, I think, isn't it? And yeah. So, you know, there's, there's the idea of a Facebook group. And, I mean, we could even set up our own Facebook group, I guess, if people are interested and, and we yeah, can I have mean, a if, sharing if, around this. Because I'm going to get one of, yeah. these, um, one of these devices. I know you've, you're already going to check out the other, the other one with your friends, aren't there? There's some friends of yours from Italy who've developed yeah. this, this new version. It's called Plants Play, is that right? Plants Play. Plants Play. Yeah, it's, it's going to be name. available, it's going to be available, I think, in, in April, if I remember well and yeah. I've already ordered one yeah. I, I looked at the project and they, they've done really some good work there. Yeah. They, they designed they have designed um, the device really well Yeah, I think they have, I mean I looked at the, you sent me the link about it, thank you for that and I've ordered it as well now and uh, it looks fantastic. I mean, it's, the design is fantastic because it's just a little thing, isn't it? And it's like you could almost wear it as a pendant around your neck and yeah, yeah, carry yeah, it yeah. around with you easily and plug it into your smartphone and kind of like have it playing through a you know, Bluetooth speaker and away you go. Yeah, like, they, wow. they, made it really, they made it really easy <laughs> yeah. to use and, and, and fun. So yeah. I think they've done a really good job there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm excited by that. So anyway, so if people are interested, get in touch with us, you know, dying to hear from you. And, uh, and if there's enough interest, we could set up a, a Facebook group uh, within, you know, kind of connected up to this uh, Sound Healing Academy and, uh, and people could join it and we could share experiences of healing with plants in this way. I Thank you so again for, for sharing all these wonderful sounds and, and ideas with us. And uh, we're going to stay here. Uh, you know, we're going to be back here in a minute to take any questions and comments that people may still have. Yeah. So thank you again, and uh, we'll yeah, move on. Yeah, thank you. Thank okay. you. Thank you.